Welcome to the ATO channel. In today's video, we'll guide you through the process of troubleshooting a variable frequency drive using a motorometer. Let's get started. Before beginning any troubleshooting, ensure that the VFD is properly powered off and disconnected from the power source. To determine if the VFD can be powered on, you can use a motorometer to check the integrity of the inverter and rectifier circuits. For all the measurements in this test, we'll be using the dial mode on the motorometer. Let's begin by checking the rectifier circuit. Let's first measure the upper bridge of the rectifier circuit by connecting the red probe to each phase input terminal, RST, and the black probe to the plus terminal. A reading around 0.6 volts indicates normal operation, while a OL may indicate short circuit or open loop. In our test, these values fall within the normal range, indicating that the three phase input terminals of the VFD are undamaged. Next, let's measure the lower bridge of the rectifier circuit. Connect the red probe to the minus terminal and the black probe to each phase input terminal. A reading around 0.4 volts confirms proper functioning, while AOL implies damage. Our measurements show that these values fall within the normal range, indicating that the lower bridge of the rectifier circuit is functioning properly. Now, let's move on to testing the inverter circuit. Measure the upper bridge of the inverter circuit by connecting the red probe to each phase output terminal, UVW, and the black probe to the plus terminal. Similarly, a reading around 0.4 volts indicates normal operation, while a OL suggests damage. We obtain readings that fall within the acceptable range, indicating that the upper bridge of the inverter circuit is in good condition. Lastly, let's measure the lower bridge of the inverter circuit. Connect the red probe to the minus terminal and the black probe to each phase output terminal. A reading around 0.4 volts confirms proper functioning, while a OL implies otherwise. Our measurements show that these readings are consistent and fall within the normal range, indicating that the VFD is free from any issues. And there you have it. By following these basic testing methods, you can determine the condition of the rectifier and inverter circuits in a VFD. This knowledge allows you to assess whether it is safe to power on the VFD or if further troubleshooting is required. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the ATO channel for more informative content like this. For all your industrial automation needs, visit our website at www.ato.com. See you in the next video.